My name is Dr. Bradshaw, and this film is intended for the use of my RAD 1611 students and for review purposes for my 2612 RAD students. Excuse me. I wanted to, there is another thoracic video that is going to be posted using a digital, but I wanted to go back and look at the one that we use in the classroom so that I could point out structures again and look at this one. This is the one from the textbook, and it is labeled, of course, the same way as in the textbook. Looking at number one, uh, when I look at number one, I have the rib that is right here. All of this is the rib. Number two, which is not on this film, but yeah, there it is. Excuse me. Number two is out on this transverse process right here, so this would be TP. This out here, again, is a rib coming into that transverse process. And, of course, where it articulates out at this area right here is your posterior transverse joint, which is labeled by number three. Number four is labeling where the rib comes in and articulates with the vertebral body, which is called a costovertebral joint. Number five is labeling the pedicle right here. And pedicle should be nice and symmetrical, meaning this size uh, compared to this side. You'll use that in your full spine x-ray analysis class to help determine body rotation. If you look at this particular segment, this pedicle looks a little bit wider than this pedicle, and so this is the side of body rotation, and this is the side of spinous rotation. The more elongated or elliptical-looking pedicle is the side of spinous, and the wider or fatter-looking one is the side of body. Number six is the spinous process, and this spinous process is the spinous process to this segment. You can just barely see the edge of the lamina right here and the edge of the lamina right there. Lamina in this area is very flat, and so it's going to uh, be not very distinguishable as far as being able to see the density of that. If I go down to this segment down here, you can see the edge of the lamina right along right there coming down to this spinous that is right there. Number seven is the inferior vertebral end plate right along right here. And number eight is labeling the intervertebral disc space. Intervertebral disc space. Uh, looking at number 12 with the black arrows right along right here, that is called the paraspinal line. And basically this is inside the lung field and this is outside the lung field. And so that's why this area is just a little bit darker in density because the air in the lung has no density. This concludes this video.